Hello, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to create 360 photos for Facebook like this one so I'm gonna show you a few samples this one is a single photo and what my client did was a link back to the care panel tour so this is the actual tour uh, this one is an album of 360 photos with a link back again to the actual tour so when you click these images these are 360 and um, if you upload them as an album you'll see a left and right arrows so we can navigate to the next and previous 360 photo okay, um, the issue with okay I'm gonna start I'm gonna hide my face first I bought that too. the issue with it is sometimes people don't know how to uh, insert the correct um, metadata in order for Facebook to see it as a 360 photo so here's a sample here's is how it looks like when you upload the correct one so I'm gonna upload it here oh sorry so you will see an icon uh, this icon indicates that it is a that Facebook recognize it as a 360 photo so let's try to post this as you can see it is being recognized as a 360 photo yeah, it takes a while to load uh, on the first upload uh, so right now it's still hanging So after a while be able to drag it around so how does it look like if it doesn't have the correct data or metadata here's a sample this one doesn't have that icon that we saw a while ago this is just a flat JPEG file so let's fix that I'll, I'll show you how to do that um, first thing I do because uh, I deliver these files as a part of my I guess standard deliverables to a client is I I, I batch them I, I create a script or create an action in Photoshop which resizes multiple images so for example so this one this equi rectangular images are at thirteen K size. So I for Facebook i I resize them to six K by three K. So for the first thing I do so this is just pre preparing the file uh, uh, before inserting the metadata is resizing them. Actually what we're gonna use to insert the metadata is exif tool GUI um, there's some um, alternatives like exif fixer uh, haven't tried this but uh, uh, I see a lot of people using it I, I, oh, I did try it a bit a while, uh, the other day but uh, I didn't like uh, its batch feature um, I just prefer this but you can use this one if you like so let's do the resize first so to do that let's create an action which resizes the images to 6000 with 3000 so open up Photoshop drag your equi your first equi rectangular image and then here in the actions open up actions so I have a I group my actions into folders. I'm gonna create one which is size to 6k and save for web high. And then I'm gonna hit record. I'm gonna resize this to 6k image image size 6,000. Okay, and then save for web. I'm not sure where I can find the 
menu item but the shortcut is pressing control shift alt and s all at once so that will open up this uh, panel and then I just accept the defaults I click save and then I put it somewhere like a dump folder which never changes so I have a Photoshop temp folder in my D drive and it's, it's just a folder where I place all my the output of all, all my Photoshop actions too so I do a save and then the recording is still running as you can see the red button is uh, pressed I'm gonna click close uh, not to save and then go back to actions and stop so we recorded in action for one file what you want to do is run that as a batch file if I check the folder the dump folder I mentioned is it has one file right now this this one is the resize that we just did I'm gonna delete this then I'm gonna do an automate batch and select the folder where the action is and then select the action and then choose the folder where the equirectangular images are in this case it's here so when I click OK it will start resizing all those images and saving them for web I'm gonna open the folder and it's you're gonna see this fill up, up with the images so Photoshop is doing its job resizing those images oh it's done so so these are four equity rectangle images at the, in the size of 6k so I'm just gonna move them to my folder where I'm working in which is uh, this one I'm just gonna call this JPEG so right now these are just flat images if I drag this to Facebook it is gonna appear like uh, the one without the metadata a while ago so if I do this that won't work see no icon here so how do we fix that um, so look for this tool exif tool for windows I'm using windows I'm not sure how to do this in Mac um, exif tool GUI by Phil Harvey so click this I saw a download link here Windows executable this one so after downloading let's move it to the place where I am working in which is this one for the purposes of this tutorial I'm gonna put them here but in real life I have them somewhere like a common folder I have them in the tools actually these are older versions because it's been quite a while since I last set this up and the, the versions have already changed a lot um, but just to show you that it's working let's do uh, let's place the files in this folder so extract gonna delete the zip file and then I saw in a forum why you need to rename this so I'm gonna try to look for it um, exif tool go windows remove enter mm, press enter press enter to continue 
<laughs> I can't find it. But basically, if you don't rename this, um, it will keep asking you to press enter for each image. But anyway, let's let's not rename it for now. Uh, what we're gonna do is create a batch file. So new text file, and you can rename this anything. Um, Facebook. 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 Three sixty dot. DAT and then edit this and then we're gonna so I have the code ready uh, I don't even remember where I saw this from uh, but I'm gonna make this available in the description all you need to do is copy this and just uh, change this to where your directory is where you put the exif tool so I'm gonna copy this paste it here and then change this part to this one and add this I'm not sure if it accepts spaces, but to be sure, try to not add spaces in your folder names. Because in my case, I always use a, a dash and an underscore. Because sometimes there are issues with spaces. But uh, if you look at this code or script, uh, what it does is just it adds some data to the image. You're like adding a you're telling it that it's I mean adding a data saying it's a rectangular image and it has a like image width of what its image width and image height is something like that anyway save it then what I usually do is drag this to my desktop or create the shortcut to my desktop so this is the previous one I'm gonna delete this so where did that go it went somewhere I can't find here so that's my shortcut what we do now is uh, we drag these save eggs with no metadata so drag here and then this window will appear but it's asking me to press enter each time which sucks and we don't want that but that already did the job if I go to Facebook what happened here was uh, it converted the images added some metadata and kept the original so if I rename this back to JPEG that's the original but if I drag this already to Facebook um, this is already a 360 as you can see on the icon Facebook already recognizes it as a 360 photo but I wanna fix something there because I didn't wanna do the pressing enter each time so I'm gonna delete again let's delete the generated ones return the original ah. okay so in the forums I read that in order to remove that requirement to press enter I just really need to just need to rename this and remove the K I don't know why so if I do that then I en edit the batch file save it no longer asks me to do that so just to show it to you again this is the original file that is doesn't have the metadata flat file without the icon so this is wrong I'm gonna drag this to the batch file 
It's gonna. So what happened this time was it just ran everything without asking to me to press enter. Okay, so it's done. It created four files and kept the original. If I go here and drag this one, this has the 360 icon. So yeah, that's that's it. Um, if you had like 30 images, it would be easier now to convert to Facebook. Um, yeah, that's it for for this tutorial. Um, hope you learned something. Uh, thanks. Goodbye.